Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. This is Your Questions, Your Money here on the Fox Business Network. I'm Dagan McDowell, and in this hour, we're taking your calls and questions about your business, whether you want to start one, grow one, make yours a smashing success. We have incredible people here to tell you about their businesses, how to fund your business, ideas about marketing and advertising. We've got it all for you. Pick up the phone. Call us, 877-249-9626. Or send us an email to your money at foxbusiness.com. And our guest, guest this hour has spent much of his life at sea, the deep blue sea, but now he is on land and seeing green in more ways than one. Captain Bernardo Herzer is the founder and CEO of Lair Incorporated. As a licensed ship captain, Bernardo logged over 40,000 nautical miles sailing around the world. And the damage he saw being done to the environment worried him and inspired him to make a change using his creative engineering skills that he picked up at sea. He developed a patented propane canister to fuel small engines like the ones that power handheld lawn and garden tools. And that's just the beginning. Bernardo, welcome. Well, thank you very much for having me. Yeah. I, did I get it all right? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> the, you certainly did. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate being here and we're excited to um, you know, give more information and about what we're doing. Well, Bernard, just tell just tell the viewers like how you got from being on the sea and being a captain to how did you you used your skills really just kind of on the fly skills that you develop working on engines when you were at sea to come up with this and it's just an incredible story that you've really done in just a matter of a few years. The company's only two years old, right? Well, the company was incorporated two years ago, but I've actually been converting small engines uh, for many, many years aboard uh, various ships at sea. Um, propane is a more reliable fuel for smaller internal combustion engines and of course the uh, safety benefits of it and it running much cleaner propane is a green gas therefore it produces zero ozone depleting hydrocarbons it's a pure hydrocarbon mm -hmm. it reduces our dependency on foreign oil and you know inadvertently when you're in close quarters um, you tend to smell or maybe even breathe the the fumes of small internal combustion engines and uh, so you have particulate matter in those fumes and particulate matter is a very big concern for lung disease today it's being regulated also um, cancer causing agents propane is used indoors to run forklifts and equipment like that so you have 96 percent less carcinogens and uh, you know you hear about people pushing their lawnmowers and you know, in hot weather and, and things like that. Well, you know, with string trimmers and leaf blowers and those types of equipment, it's even more critical. Well, how long did it take you to develop the t patented technology that went into, and we can take a look at them, the leaf blower, which is, is new, is it not? And then That's the correct. weed trimmer was your, was your first device that you came out. But how long, because you incorporated two years ago, but how long was it for you to kind of get the technology right? Well, my, my, my last big um, oceanographic research commission aboard one of my own research ships was surveying the North Sea for Her Royal Majesty's Fisheries, which was the Department of Fish and Game of England. And shortly after that, um, I sort of um, came home for an extended period of time because my wife had, had a baby. We had a, a child together. She had actually gotten uh, pregnant at sea. So it was you know, quite the adventure to come home and experience that. And um, then I dedicated my time uh, to focusing directly on developing this technology and really saw that there, the applications and bringing this to the consumer were everybody won. I mean, I, I really believe that this could be the next um, standard in outdoor handheld power. And there have got to be many more applications, which we're going to discuss yeah. as we progress an hour. But how, what time, kind of time frame were we talking about before? Well, I had been converting engines for many, many years. Right. So I had the basic structure and the basic concept in mind already through many years of experience. But um, when you bring something to market, you really have to focus on the consumer. You have to focus on what your consumer is going to do, whether it's a commercial consumer or it's a private, you know, uh, you know just your regular everyday person who's going to use the unit maybe a couple times a month or once a month and then hang it on the wall. So price point and ease of use are really 
paramount. How do you, like, what, you go over an idea, you have it patented, how do you actually get it made to look like equipment that you would buy in a store? Like, where do you have that? Is that expensive as a prototype to make? Or how do you even get into that process once you have the idea? Well, first, you sh like, like we talked about, you should really focus on developing your idea, Develop, developing the concept, you know, testing it, building prototypes, building models. You did it yourself, though. We did a lot, yes. We did a lot of it in our own house. And, and then, eventually, when you get past that process, you, you have to patent it. You have to get some protection. Well, we're going to talk.